Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get registered on eTenders, which is the procurement platform for the Irish government. There's a single portal that covers the overwhelming majority of expenditure in Ireland. And the question we're often asked is, how do, how do you get registered? So I'm going to step you through the process. So one of our uh, businesses is Slewmore Limited, and this is the homepage. We haven't previously registered Slewmore on eTenders, so I'm going to step through that today. So the first step is to go to the eTenders portal, and that, as you'll see in a moment, is eTenders.gov.ie is the address. Now, there's lots of useful information on eTenders, and we'll do other videos at another point in time that can go through all of those. But today, we're just going to focus on how to get registered. So you need to come down to here, Supplier Company Registration. And when you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page. Now, I've already pre-completed things that I'm going to step down through for security and other reasons. So the first thing that you need to do is just come up here and select the type of organization you are. So in, in our case, it's a private company. But if you're a sole trader or partner, a ship or a charity or whatever, you select the one that's appropriate to you. And in our case, information and communication is the best fit for what we do, somewhere between J and M, but we'll go with that one for today. The company name is still more limited, and I've put in the organization number from the company registration office. If I was doing this and I wasn't recording it, I might put in the VAT number, but I'm not going to do that uh, at the moment. Uh, I'm selecting that it is a small and medium-sized business because it is. Um, the Duns number refers to a credit a uh, rating agency that's more commonly used in the US and it's not a, a real requirement in the South. So by all means, if you have one, you can stick it in. It's not going to do any harm, but it's not going to stop you from registering. Uh, put in the address where we're based, as is on the website. And then just a description. So in this case, I'm just keeping it short today because uh, building it out is something I can do another time. It's not the purpose of, of this demonstration. So just do justice to your business and make sure that it's, it's understandable from a buyer's point of view, what it is that your organization does. I'm putting my own details in for now. Um, and and that, that includes uh, the address, the, the contact number for the business, and then I've just copied that down from above to fill out the company administrator. What I would recommend is that you make sure whoever you want to get the phone call is the person whose details are there. Uh, once you've completed this section here, you can put in the, the details for the, for the person. And this is going to control how you log into eTenders in the future. So put in your password, make sure it's a good password and uh, the username for logging in. It doesn't have to be a full email, it could be whatever you want. In my case, uh, I use an Apple computer, so it remembers all this stuff for me. You can add an email for alerts, and uh, I will go through alerts another time. Uh, say that you, I mean, by all means, go through the terms and conditions of the privacy policy, and once you are satisfied with everything, uh, assuming that you are, um, indicate that you've read the terms and accept them, and then select save. So in this case, it's going to, my computer's going to save the password that I've just done. So the next thing it says is that the registration is complete and we have to complete the profile. So click on the login link below to log into eTenders. I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to log into eTenders for the first time with this. And it has, again, reiterating these things. And I'm going to select that I have read the terms and conditions because I do understand the platform. And the next thing that it's going to ask us to do is to complete the company profile, which is we do by going up here. And when we come in here, there's a series of, of different things that we're being asked to complete as part of this. And one of the things that I'm going to go in and set up now is business alerts. So if I go in here, I'm going to save the email address. I can add other email addresses under my code for other people in the business. And just for today, I'm going to put in procurement. I'm going to see 
So because we have a marketplace, I will add in all three codes and that's me done. So once this is done, I'm gonna, sorry, I need to go back in here. Um, I'm gonna have to go through this again. They're all added, but what I haven't done is I need to switch this on. So that is done. And then that's my profile complete. So what will happen now is that in the future, when I come in here, my alerts should be. Ah, yes, there we go. Business alerts are on now. And in future, when I come in uh, each morning, I should be getting any alerts that are relevant to those codes to this email address. And if you replicate that for your business, the same thing will happen for you. You can put up logos, you can build out your company description. In fact, I'd recommend you do. I've no intention of leaving it that short. So make sure it's, it's understandable what you do. You can add in billing information um, so that you can get your invoices within the system. And there's this compliance document, which is like a series of fit and proper statements that is working while completing. It can make the submission of tenders more efficient. Uh, outside of that, that's really the, the profile complete. And that's everything uh, that you need to do to get firstly set up any tenders and secondly set up to get alerts that tenders are going to be coming out. Hopefully that has been useful and it'll allow businesses that are not on e-tenders to get registered easily and without much fuss. Thank you. And that's it. Goodbye.